let's wrap this show up with our favorite uh, Premier League bets for the Thanksgiving weekend. I will start and I will go back to the well. Crystal Palace plus 120 taking on Steven Gerrard's Aston Villa. I think that this number could tick up because people will want to bet Aston Villa after Gerrard got the win over Brighton in his uh, debut with the club. So you might see a narrative boost on uh, the price for Crystal Palace as we get closer to kickoff uh, this weekend. This Palace team, third best expected goals against in the Premier League, fifth best expected goal differential uh, per 90. They are playing like a top six club. And I don't think they're priced like a top six club at home. So give me Crystal Palace plus 120. BJ, what's your favorite EPL bet this weekend? Yeah, I love Wolves plus 115 on the road at Norwich. Uh, it's crazy that we're saying it, but this is a sell high spot for Norwich. You have won two in a row, uh, but have lost the expected goals battle, a combined 3.4 to 1.9 against Southampton and Brentford. This is still one of the worst defensive teams in the Premier League. They're bottom three in pretty much every single defensive uh, metric that we look at. They're allowing 1.78 expected goals per match. And this is a Wolves team that can just shred you in transition. And that is also really good versus pressure. Norwich offensively, they're dead last in uh, non-penalty expected goals for shots per 90, big scoring chances, and a lot of other metrics. Dean Smith, uh, obviously, you know, is the new manager. There's a little bit of a new manager bump, but this Wolves defense, you know, they're built on not allowing any big scoring chances. They're second in the Premier League in that category. Uh, they're still top 10 in non-penalty expected goals. Uh, I have Wolves projected at minus 109. Uh, I think this price is a little crazy. I think Wolves should definitely not be plus money on the road against one of the worst teams in the Premier League. So uh, give me Bruno Lage's men at uh, plus 115 to grab all three points. And Anthony, uh, wrap up the show, please. Yeah, Brentford at home, plus 130 against Everton. I already read off the Everton injury list, but I'm going to do it again. Calvert-Lewin is out. Holgate, Decore, Richarlison, Mina, Davies, Gomez, Gray. Almost half of their typical starting 11 and some of their reserves who would typically back up some of those starting guys are out. Brentford, number one in the Premier League in ball recoveries against an Everton team that has struggled against teams that apply pressure against them. We saw that a couple weeks ago against Wolves when Wolves kind of played them off the park the first 45 minutes. I'm expecting Brentford to come out with an inspired effort here at home after a couple of disappointing performances in a row. The defensive regression still concerns me for Brentford, but I think attacking wise, Tony and Mbwemo are going to have their way with this backup Everton defense and they're going to roll here, score multiple goals and cruise to victory at home.